what we're seeing happening in our political landscape right now fits this like a glove. And this was written 2,000 years ago. Of course, it's prophetic. Of course, it's for these days. And, you know, people who, you know, maybe kind of struggle with, well, is the Bible really, you know, from God? Well, <laughs> I mean, just read Romans 1 and, you know, that would be uh, one area, one reason that would uh, convince somebody, I would think. Um, it, it says here, and I'm going to skip around, of course, um, but it's it's in this order. Um, those who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the uh, creature more than the creator, which it would be like the green movement. This, this thing really... Um, um, gets uh, going uh, like a snowball, you know, with the green movement. For this cause, get, God gave them over to vile affections for, for even their women did it change the natural use into that which is against nature and likewise also the men, um, leaving the natural use of the women and burning lust one um, towards another. And uh, they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, so God gave them over to this rep reprobate mind um, to do th these things. And so um, it's not normal, it's part of our sin. It's part of worshiping the uh, creation instead of the creator. And then you go through um, right after that, um, it talks about um, one sin, one problem, you know, murder, envy, deceit, you know, so on and so forth, one thing after another that our country is really getting, um, you know, heavily involved in. Um, greater than we ever have before. And um, this is Romans 1. Um, anyway, any comment to that? I agree with it wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly. We need to understand there are difficulties ahead, but we have to answer. Mm -hmm. We need to seek God with all of our heart, mind, body, spirit, and soul. And God will take care of us in the midst of all of this. Mm -hmm. God is, is like a Heavenly Father who just wants us to be put back on the right path so we can have the life that he wants us to have, free from sin, free from hurt, free from pain, so we can be the people of God. Mm -hmm. God sent his son to make a difference in the world. And, and I'm sorry to say that the church has forgotten their first love, and as a result, that the world has made more of an impression on the church than, than the other way around. Yeah. I agree with everything you said. I believe we have an opportunity. I hope I'm not saying anything that will frighten people. I believe that there is always hope at the cross. There is always hope in God. Mm -hmm. But I also believe that uh, when we tear down dams, right over here where I live, they're tearing down two hundred, two $500 million dollar dams that have provided electricity for hundreds of thousands of people so we can have a couple more fish come in. What they don't tell you is that the price of electricity is going to go up, yeah. and many other people may not have power in the winter when they really need it. Mm -hmm. so I believe there has to be a balance. God wants us to be a good steward of the land, but I believe that the green movement goes to on the extreme fanatical side of that, and they go too far many times. Yeah. Now, the creation worship, um, you know, uh, with many gods, you know, the god of the tree, the god of this, the god of that, um, and even... Um, uh, homosexual sins and, and, and other things. Those, those all really go back to um, Egypt, uh, don't they? Yes, they do. Yeah. You know, if, if we go back to a lot of the problems have, we have today, we go back where they had so many different gods and they treated the, the common people in a very terrible manner and only one or two percent of the people were really treated good and the rest of the people were slaves to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And when the Israelites came in, the North, the people who had been slaves, the Egyptians, then became the overseers of the Israelites who became the slaves. Yes, they have different beliefs, they have different gods, and we are still practicing those things today. For example, in the millennium, they had, in 1999, right on New Year's Eve, they had a major uh, ceremony where all the wealthy people of the world went into one of the... Uh, uh, pyramids for a special ceremony that they were in there for several hours because there are many, many people who are worshiping under other gods. Some of them know who they are, some of them don't. Yeah. So we need to read the Word of God with His truth so we can understand that when we worship a God other than God, we become slaves to that God. Yeah, and I want to go back to um, Hosea um, as we close here um, and and 
uh, that, I think that's one of, a good, really good way to conclude um, going back to Egypt. Um, I mean, and again, I'm going to paraphrase this. I'm going to read a little bit out of Hosea 7 and Hosea 11. Um, but uh, it says here, uh, Ephraim, which would be now God's people, also is like a silly dove without heart. They shall uh, call to Egypt. They go to Assyria. When they shall go, I will spread my net over them, and I will bring them down as the fowls of the heavens, and I will chastise them as their congregation has heard. And woe unto them, for they have fled from me. And, uh, and then I'm going to go to 11. He shall not return into the land of Egypt, but the Assyrian shall be his king, because they refuse to return. And the sword shall abide on his cities, and shall consume his branches and devour them. And it goes on and on. Um, in other words spiritually they go back to Egypt and so God allows uh, an Assyrian king to rule over them um, you know and I in, in my opinion when I read this I think of Obama um, he's from that part of the world um, as an Assyrian king um, and he's really bringing us into bondage am I out of line when I when I think that or do you No, I believe very strongly that God is allowing President Obama to do the things he's doing to bring judgment upon the land of America, without a doubt. Yeah, and um, especially the the church. I mean, he uh, <laughs> he wants to, you know, as Hitler used the cross, you know, to um, gain power. Um, you know, it it doesn't take. Uh, it's not too hard to understand um, that Obama is using the church to, um, you know, calling himself a Christian to gain power. Right. But really, he he despises um, people like you and I. Right, and not only that. But most people don't understand that uh, Hitler used the church to gain power, but once he had no more need, he got rid of all the churches, and his photo was put up on the wall, and he became the new god of Germany. And the people were forced to worship Adolf Hitler as god. Yeah. So that is um, something we need to be aware of so we don't get caught up in, in that trap. And... Um, um, I guess one last thing, if somebody's going to a church who's, who's accepting, who's, who's going green, who's, um, uh, who has a labyrinth and who's bringing this stuff into the church, what would, you, what would you say to that individual? I would say you need to be very careful, and if they are doing things that are contrary to the Word of God, you need to turn away and run away from that church, because when you join a church, their mantle becomes your covering, and if they have an unholy covering, that will affect you in a negative way. You want to go to a church that preaches the Word of God, applies the Word of God, and acts on the Word of God. 